What's up guys, it is Jay Beeves here and welcome to the very first episode of the Qingdao FC career mode series. As you guys know, I'm going through this journey, I'm trying to beat all these different leagues, I'm trying to, you know, trying to beat every single league on FIFA. And now we're making our stop in China. I think it's quite obvious why I picked this team. I think they might have the best crest ever. Maybe not ever, but right now this is a very high contender and the only reason why I chose them. So yeah, and this series is going to be a little bit different than the other ones. And this series is going to be full gameplay. I'm going to post the entire gameplay. That way you guys can kind of see how I play, how things work. And honestly, if you guys are really keen to it, give me some tips in, as to what I can improve on. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So looking at the board expectations, that is another reason why I did choose this team. Very low board expectations, a pretty decent amount of money. One star team like I like to do with these series, starting from a little bit lower of overall and then obviously making them higher. Should be a good journey for us. And of course, with that money, I'm not just going to sit around and let it burn a hole in my pocket. I'm going out and I'm buying players, first of which is Sam Long bought him from Lincoln City over in EFL League 2 for $550,000. Young English goalkeeper, dynamic, I'm really relying on dynamic potential for him. I think he has 74, 75 potential, so hopefully with dynamic potential, this is a very good purchase. I have also bought Alejandro Andre from Mexican side Nicaxa. I don't know if that's exactly how you say it, but he's just bought for just under half a million dollars. Young Mexican defensive mid. Again, another dynamic potential. That's what I'm really trying to do in this series is just kind of get a better understanding of how dynamic potential can work. I've also brought in Mathis Bruns. Bruns, I'm going to say Bruns from Union Berlin over in Germany. 57 overall, 560,000 for him. Hopefully he's a rock at the back for us. John Peter Cisse is also joining us from another German club, Darmstadt. He is bought for $470,000. And I think he might... I don't know what I'm gonna, exactly what I'm going to do with him, whether I play him at attacking mid or outside mid. I'm just going to kind of let that be known. I don't know exactly what he's going to be doing, but he should be playing. And I've also bought all, and Angelo Gettermeyer, the young Austrian from another Austrian club. Flyer Alarm Admira for just under half a million. So I think this is the last transfer I'm going to be doing. I think it rounds out a very good transfer window. So that was, in fact, the last transfer that I'm going to be doing. But I still got some money to spend, and I'm going to be setting up a Youth Academy Scout in China, 4-star, 5-star. And we have our first game of the season as we are hosting at our home stadium. The perfect way to start one of these series Always love playing in the home stadium, and that stadium is the Kansan Stadium. And this is the team that I'm going to be going with. Long is in goal. Vukovic and Jian are center backs. Wei and Zhang are the outside backs. Peng and Hao, defensive mids. Fei and Junshin are outside mids. Bali's, Bali and Alessandri are the strikers. And here is the full gameplay. And the game begins. Oh, lovely ball. He's in behind the defence here. Oh, it was there for him, but unable to find the target. Well, he certainly went for power, but the accuracy just wasn't there. He should have scored that. Space afforded him. It is to be a throw-in. An effective challenge. Well, I'm sure his heart is beating extra quickly because it's his debut game today. Stuart, watch it. He had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. Well read to ease the pressure. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Not messing around with that clearance. And he's broken free. Vigorous defending. And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open.
Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? And they need to get tighter here. Targets available, cross comes in. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Ball's gone. Now let's see about the cross. Well, really fine goalkeeping, good diving stop. And over comes the corner. Now following the clearance, it will be a corner. Played over. And the danger still on. Well, the pass not finding its target. Takes the shot! And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. And how about the short corner? And space available inside. Oh, good save! It's one corner after another. And played short. Poor pass under no real pressure. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Oh, what an opportunity! Oh, it looked as though he might be through. Not so. And it would have been a chance, but the run was mistimed. Offside. Takes on the shot! Well, it turned out to be fairly routine for the keeper in the end. This might be ideal for the counter. And foxing the defender. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Had a chance to whip it in here. One goal down, but now a corner kick. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Well, very close to half-time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. So it's got to be! Oh, how on earth has he missed that? What a glorious opportunity! Well, the flag's gone up and he was offside, but he didn't know that when he took his shot. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Not a great challenge, free kick here. Well, just a rebuke rather than a caution, Stuart. Well, it's not a bad tackle, and the referee's got that right. Well, any goalkeeper would be disappointed if he didn't save that. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Oh, in with a chance! 
And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here it is again, and just look how he turns away from his marker and then gets his shot away. That's a very good goal, you have to say. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. When you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area, and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? And he's beaten him here. Now defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Really nice ball. It must go in, surely. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. shortage of goals in this match 3-1 and he read it well intercepting it highly significant piece of transfer news now official Alexandre Lacazette I can tell you has completed his move to Leicester City Stewart well, at around £25 million, I think he's good value for money. He's a talented player who will definitely improve the team. Let's hope he plays to his full potential. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. It's got to be! Oh, keeper in control. And they will make the change now. So the corner played into the box. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. Well, the visitors have controlled possession, as you can see. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to... Surely! Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. He's driven in the corner. Found wanting a bit with that delivery. Not the pass he had in mind. Marko Vejinovic.
and a goal kick is the outcome. They look as though they want to make this move count. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Real chance. And it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment. Into the final 20 minutes. Marko Vejinovic. Dangerous looking through ball. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Well, getting the ball forward. Can he get them level? Pivotal moment defensively. Now what can they do from here? Well, it's a wild attempt. He needed something better. Offside, however. Well, you're right. He didn't know it was going to be offside. And that was a shocking miss. Possession seeded. Has a go. There it is. A fantastic goal. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here's the replay. And when you've got the ball at the back, you've got to pass it forward. And he doesn't do that there. He has his pocket picked and he's been rightly punished. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Jagosz Bukovic. Now just couldn't keep the ball. Good visualisation and execution. Well, the cross was acceptable, but no one there to thump at home. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Alessandrini. Oh, in with a chance! Spectacular save, top-class goalkeeping. Can he deliver it with accuracy? It comes to absolutely nothing. Well, they've given him too much space. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. And breaking at pace with Menace. They need to get bodies back. Crossing possibilities. Is this the moment? In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all. Oh, 
Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans... So it is quite obvious we do have a long way to go. Obviously, a 5-2 loss is not exactly a positive. But first time playing with a team, just kind of got to get a feel for how things are going to be. So I have sold Liu Zenli. He will be joining the English side crew Alexander for 120000 And joining the team from Liu's Academy will be Hao Yuan, Chinese attacking mid. Very, very pacey, got a good bit of dribbling. Just development plan on him to get his shooting up a little bit because hopefully he'll be in some chances to score some goals. So at the halfway point in this entire journey, we are currently sitting just one from the bottom. We have negative goal difference. We're tied on points with the bottom four teams. So things have not exactly been going well for us currently, but again, all that is subject to change. Hopefully dynamic potential and you know some of our young players start playing a little bit better. But there's an issue. So this glitch has, has happened to me multiple times. Contract extension. I, I want a one year extension for one of my players. And if it happens after, like, for this, for example, Alessandrini, he can leave. Whenever it's at that point where they can negotiate with other teams, they always leave. Even if I do a one year extension, it just ignores it, says that nothing happened, and then they end up leaving. If that is the case, I definitely did not want him to leave. But unfortunately, that is how things have gone. I have sold Radinich to Bristol Rovers for $480,000. And Esmat will also be a part of the club. Not at all a big deal. Bali could end up being a big deal, especially with Alessandrini leaving. Gattermeyer is really going to have to step up now. And that probably means I'm going to be switching out of a two-striker system, considering we now only really have one striker at the club. Wang Fei is also a part of the club. He is joining AFC Wimbledon. And joining the team from the Youth Academy will be Reggie Green. English left midfielder, 50, 85 to 91 potential. Very pacey, very good dribbler, very good passer. Decent shooting. He's exactly what I want from attacking, well, from a left mid. So hopefully, just hopefully, he can make a difference for us. Can I replace Alessandrini as our best player? Ryu Zhengshai has been sold to Exeter City for one and a quarter thousand dollars. Ju, I, I'm not, sorry, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the last name. Has left the, will be leaving the club. He will be joining Hartlepool. Lu Peng has been sold. He will be joining German side at Duisburg for two hundred thousand dollars. Liu Jian has will be departing the club. He will be joining Sutton United. And we got another game. We're facing off against Shangdong Taishan at their home stadium. And this is the team that I am now using. Long is still in goal. Vukovic and Bruns make up the center backs. Zhu Zhang and Wang Wei are the outside backs. Andrade and Hao are the defensive mids. Alessandrini, green on the wings. Yuan Zi attacking mid. Gatter Myers up top. This is kind of how I'm hoping to have the team end up looking like and what I really want it to look like heading forward. Here are the highlights. Well, actually, here's the full gameplay. And the match begins. Oh, nice ball. Alert defending. Fellaini, Zheng Zheng, Fellaini, Liu, and well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. Well, there's no getting away from it. This is the man so many people have been focusing on ahead of this particular game. The rumours coming out of the camp, Stuart, are that this may be his last season. Oh, big he's... chance here, Derek. Oh, it's gone in! A derby goal! The first of the contest! Electric! Well, 
Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. One nil then. Well, the attack looks promising. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Valencia with it. Chance to attack using wit. Moises. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Will it be? And keeping it out. Elects to go short. Ready to pounce here, Marwan Fellaini. Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Read it well. Well, that ball looks promising. Valencia. Chance to play it in. Can he finish? And the keeper got there. But he's gone short with it. Chike. Liu Bin Bin. They've won back possession. Could it be Fellaini? Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Ji Xiang. Really getting stuck in. Lost possession. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Promising looking ball. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. This could level it. Well, the hosts have had so much of the ball in the last 15 minutes and have been threatening with it. Surely it's only a matter of time before they get another. Well read to win possession back. And now Valencia. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And effectively parried away by the keeper. So a throw in here. Well, what a great save that was to keep them in this. May just be the impetus they need, as they certainly haven't been at their best today. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Green. How can he take them on and beat them? And he's got a score to level it again. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. One, one. Zheng Zheng. Moises. Oh, 
Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Can he put them in front? Oh, no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Andrade with it. Tremendously strong in the tackle. And they have possession again. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, it petered out. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Could play it in. G. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Chike. Well timed it. Is it going to be? Oh, a good timing save. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway. And the match begins. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Moises. G. Crisp tackling. Moises. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Can he finish? And just over the bar. Really good effort. Green. Zheng Zheng. Well, I'd be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Oh, good vision. And a goal! He's put it away! A celebratory moment! Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. And now they have the ball back. Well, the away side haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. And a substitution in the offing. G. And providing width. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. It's a neat move. Could cross it in here. And a goal kick will be next. Opportunity here. And a 
goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Wonderful challenge, and a throw-in coming up. Oh, fancy footwork. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Could be! Well, here's the replay, and it's a really good bit of play. Watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish. That's a top-class goal. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. No stopping him. Oh, a vital interception. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Time for a change then. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Great opportunity, a goal, an exceptional performance this, four to the good now. Well here's the replay and you see it was a good finish, but the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Good use of advantage by the referee. But a second foul after the first one, and so no advantage there. Free kick. Delaney. And he takes it on. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. And over it comes. A deft clearance. Disappointing pass. Will it happen for them? So a throw in here. Good bit of pressing. So on the cusp of the final whistle, and the visitors very much in command, Stuart. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. Can they hit on the break? All hands on deck. Happy to take on the shot. 
And how about that for a save? And now the delivery. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Well, putting it wide from there, disappointing. Sesse. I'm giving the ball away. Danger averted. Well, three minutes of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Untidy in possession. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? New. Fellaini. And that is that. The referee blows it. So this game was a perfect example of we took our chances and they didn't. We looked at expected goals, shots, possession, and passes. We played some good counter-attacking soccer. That's exactly what I want. And we got some back-to-back -back game action. This game we will be hosting at our home stadium in the final game of the season. High B FC. The lineup is the same as it was for last game. Here's the game. And the contest begins. Can they get in behind them? It should be! Has a go! A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. It's with Andrade. Alessandrini. It's been pretty well impossible to escape all the news stories surrounding him ahead of today's match. If reports are to be believed, this could be his final season. Could it be, Stuart, he's about to hang up his boots? Well, Derek, it happens to everybody at some point. The body just can't cope anymore. And that's probably the case here, because when he plays, he still has a big impact on this team. And threading it forward. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Let's see about the delivery. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Fed forwards. It's a neat move. Must be. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. And over comes the corner. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Big chance to get them on terms. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be.
Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And then from there, the keeper has little chance. Two on one, left completely exposed, and it made for a simple finish in the end. So back underway, one goal apiece here. looking position you've got to say that's a nice looking ball a disappointing end to the move bad pass get themselves in front here and in oh yes exactly what they were hoping to produce they've delivered the goal well i have to say this is a really good goal just watch his technique here he just hits through the back of the ball with such power there's no stopping that is moving again anyone's guess how this is going to finish 2-1 currently excellent refereeing advantage in operation good looking pass and as a play it goes throw in coming up here Alessandrini Tremendous ball played through. A mischievous effort. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Well, had that gone in, the game was firmly in their hands. Now, though, they've got to make sure they don't let this slip. Will he play it in? Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Who can they pick out? And no nonsense defensive clearance. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. And just missing the target. Well, they're at least making chances. Now they need to be more clinical. Well, the hosts, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a oh, great... Oh, they might score here, Stuart. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. And a tidy ball. Not showing good patience. Chance to play it in. Unable to keep the ball. A high degree of difficulty with that sort of attempt. Well, he's just mistimed it, hasn't he? Didn't catch it how he would have wanted. And, well, that's the result. Alessandrini... A real opening now. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, he's gone for placement, but he's missed the target by quite a bit there. That's a poor effort.
almost at half time and they're making home advantage count I think it's fair to say Stuart your thoughts yes it's been a really energetic... oh they could put it away Stuart really digging in at the back but still the opportunity and a very good challenge and the counter attack is on options available well it looked highly promising but it came to nothing in the end he's going forward well here that's not a bad ball well, not the best clearance danger averted for now well brilliant work to keep that one in play so that is that the referee brings the first half to an end it should be as anticipated plenty of talking points so far and now the second half is underway Andrade with it Green Andrade with it well can they open up the defence here well I think a classic commentator's curse just then couldn't make the ideal pass And breaking at pace with Menace. All hands on deck. This looks interesting. Could pull one back here. And he does! He's thrown his team a lifeline. The belief is back. I have to say, looking at the replay, he couldn't have placed that any better, could he? What a good goal that is. Well, the game has been restarted. 3-2 here. Andrade with it. Moving the ball forward with purpose. And making the move to the inside. Didn't fall the keeper. So the corner played into the box. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. Good-looking ball. Superb stop. And he's fired over the corner and heading it just over the bar. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. And he read it superbly. Opportunity in the wide area. And can he find someone at the far post? 
not the best clearance but it looked so threatening but the danger averted surely and they couldn't add to their advantage well that would have put them in complete control he should have scored there They know they need to stop him. He could pick out a teammate. Andrade. Leonardo. Zhang Chengdong. It's a weighted pass. And up for grabs off the keeper. Chance to play it in. But dealt with efficiently. Fruitful looking attack. Punching it clear. Gobbled up with ease by the keeper. And take it away. It's a perfect challenge. Ten minutes to go then. Well, just listen to this atmosphere. It's been such a tight game, but the fans are certainly doing their bit in trying to get them over the finish line. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Well, not quite accurate enough, but it was a close thing. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Memisevic. Ding. And a good looking ball. Well, the flag was up in good time, bringing that move to an end. Well, he's just got to be more patient there. He's gone too early. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. Nemisevic. Ding Hai Feng. On the ball, Samir Nemisevic. Ding. Well, it looked as though they might be in just for a second or two. Totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Went in strongly, decisively. A oh, terrific pass. Can he put it away? And with the goalkeeper. And that is the end of the contest. Of not a, a beautiful 3-2 victory. We outperformed them in all categories. They did a pretty decent job of making it a tense game, but thankfully we were able to get the win. And we get to end the season on a high note. Yi Ren will be joining the club from the Youth Academy. Chinese attacking mid, 6-2 overall. With development plan, should be a perfectly all-around attacking mid very soon. Dong Zhu will also be joining the first team. Chinese right mid, pretty decent potential, decent overall. He's probably actually going to end up having to start with the departure of Alessandrini. Mao will also be joining the first team, probably going to end up selling him, not exactly too keen on him. Gagnon will be joining the club as well, most likely just end up being a backup. 
Huang Dang is also joining the club to specifically just be a backup. And Li Pang will be joining pretty much the rest of the club in all the players whose contracts are expiring. They are seemingly all heading to England, and he'll be joining Tranmere Rovers. So, this season was not a good season. We finished thir third from the bottom in 14th, only on 28 points, negative goal difference. We gotta be better next season, but at least there's a, I'm, we'll hopefully be keeping my job for next season. So, Long, Vukovic, Wei, Howe, and Alessandrini appeared in every single game for us. And then there's a drop-off. Alessandrini led the team in goals with 10. Just behind him was Gattermeyer, who I will say did get 7 goals in 16 games. So, very promising signs from him. Alessandrini did also lead the team in assists. But pretty interestingly, our left-back, Wang Wei, actually had 5 assists just behind him. So, I think that's pretty good that our left back's getting that many assists and we got a lot of players leaving because their contracts are expiring it's not worth going over all of them because you guys unless you're a fan of this team really have no clue who any of these guys are so this is how the team is looking currently obviously Allison Drini will be leaving most likely Cisse will be replacing him in that starting 11 but Dynamic, dynamic potential is not delivered for me this season. I'm assuming it's because of results. I mean, all these guys have been playing every single game. But you, you live and you learn. Hopefully next season will produce some better results for me. So guys, that is it for this episode of the Qingdao FC Career Mode Series. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you like this new style, let me know down below. And check out some of my other stuff coming up in just a couple of seconds. And it is Jay Biebs signing off.